ஹலோ வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் திஸ் வீடியோ லெக்சர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அபவுட் சிம்பிளிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் நெட்ஒர்க்ஸ் ஸோ த ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஃபைண்ட் த ஈக்குவல் அண்ட் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஏ அண்ட் பி இன் த இன்ஃபனைட் லேடர் நெட்ஒர்க் இன் த இன்ஃபனைட் லேடர் நெட்ஒர்க் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஏ ஸ்பெஷல் டைப் ஆஃப் கனெக்ஷன் which we are given in this problem right so this is a series of such pairs 1 ohms and 2 ohms 1 ohms and 2 ohms series of such pairs are connected in infinity numbers right it is going 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 infinity numbers it is going right for this network we have to find what is the equivalent resistance across a and b this is what we have to find so this is infinity network it is looking like a ladder these are all rungs in the ladder ladder rungs right so this is one one ohms which is connected horizontally two ohms connected vertically one ohms two ohms one ohms two ohms so this pair is continuing infinity times right so for such problems we are going to use one trick trick or shortcut anyone you can use the word infinity is an undefined number we know infinity is an undefined number we can assume the number is as high as possible as high as like anything the number can be assumed as high as anything right so if i add another number 1 or 2 or 10 or 100 the result will also be infinity if any number numerical value is added with infinity similarly if any number is subtracted from infinity infinity will be the answer similarly for multiplication divisions if infinity is involved in any mathematical operations the infinity will be the result right so lambda sorry infinity minus 1 is also equal to infinity so this is the concept we are going to use in this problem infinity minus 1 is also equal to infinity right so let me draw this diagram in another page right so this is the problem what we are given across a and b we have to find the resistance value here two points i am marking let me denote them as c and d right one pair i am removing from the network right so this is infinity number of connection from a to b infinity number of connection from c and d this is infinity minus 1 so one pair i have removed so if i say this is infinity then across c and d across c and d r c d to find r c d i will write infinity minus 1 or a b infinity so the answer i am assuming it as the equivalent value i am assuming it as x ohms right x ohms we are going to find in the last step let us assume that x x is the value that is the answer which we are going to find in the last step assume it is or ab is equal to x what is the concept we are going to use infinity minus 1 is also equal to infinity so this will also be equal to infinity yes any number if it is added or subtracted or multiplied or divided with the infinity infinity will be the result so this will also be the infinity if i you, if i assume r ab is equal to in x ohms then r c d will also be x ohms yes infinity minus 1 is equal to infinity so no change in the value equivalent value right so this is also x and this is also x because this is a infinity this is also infinity right so i can redraw this entire network in another way this is a 
and this is d 1 ohms 2 ohms then this is p this is the d c and d across c and d or c d is e equal to x ohms yes or c d is equal to x ohms across c and d across c and d x ohms across r a b a and b this is also x ohms right so this is the trick or shortcut we are going to use to solve this such problems right so now 2 ohms and x ohms they are in parallel for this parallel combination one is coming in series right so for this parallel combination i will write 2 into x divided by 2 plus x then i am adding 1 ohms it is coming series the result will be x or a b which is nothing but or a b x is equal to 1 is coming for this parallel combination the parallel result is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this is a simple formula what we will use so r1 r2 2 into x divided by r1 plus r2 2 plus x so for th this parallel combination 1 ohm is coming in series right so this will be 2 plus x plus 2x divided by 2 plus x this is x cross multiplication 2x plus x square is equal to 2 plus 3x then this will be x square this is 2x and this is 3x so minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 this is one quadratic equation power 2 power 1 and one constant quadratic equation we are getting right See, if we solve this quadratic equation, we will get the value of x. x is nothing but our answer, right? So, quadratic equation, to solve the quadratic equation, we will use this formula. Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2. So, this is a. a is 1, b is minus 1 and c is minus 2, right? So, minus 1 means plus 1 minus b means plus 1 plus or minus square root of b square 1 square minus 4 into a is 1 4 into 1 4 c is equal to minus 2 so 4 into minus 2 will be minus 8 already there is one minus so this will be plus 8 divided by 2a actually this is 2a, 2 into 1, yes, it is 2a. <coughs> My 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 8 divided by 2. 1 plus 8, it is 9, root 9 is equal to 3. So, this will be 1 plus or minus 3 divided by 2. So, two answers we will get. 1 plus 3 by 2, 1 plus 3 by 2 is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2. This is one answer. 1 minus 3, 1 minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to minus 2 by 2 is equal to minus 1. This is another answer, right? So the negative answer we should not consider, right? The equivalent resistance will not be a negative value. So 2 ohm is the answer. So R A B is equal to X, X value is equal to X can be either 2 or minus 1, minus 1 we can't consider, so x is equal to 2, or a b is equal to 2 ohms, that is the answer, yes, 1 ohms, 2 ohms, 3 ohms and 0.5 ohms, 1 ohm is the answer, so the concept is infinity minus 1 is equal to infinity, so that is a trick we are going to use, right, this is infinity, rungs they are in the ladder, then it is infinity minus 1, one pair we have removed. So this should be only infinity minus 1. This is also infinity. That is why we are writing x and x in both the places. Right? Then we are simplifying the network and we are getting the quadratic equation to solve them to get the values of x. Negative value we are removing. Right?
then this is similar problem but here instead of resistors capacitors are given right the equivalent capacity of infinity ladder network shown in the figure between a and b is again between a and b what is the equivalent capacitance value once again i will consider two points here i am excluding this first pair i am excluding the first pair right then i will draw it as first pair yes. like in the previous problem instead of resistance we are having the capacitance that's all so this is x farad this is 1 microfarad and this is 2 microfarad since all the values are given in micro we will also have micro here x microfarad right so i am redrawing it this is infinity this is infinity network and this is infinity minus 1 infinity minus 1 is equal to infinity this is x and this is also x x microfarad and x microfarad right once again we are going to simplify the network the redrawn network like the method what we have used in the resistances right so we know when two capacitors are let me have the diagram here two capacitors are in series the equivalent c will be for series the equivalent c will be c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 if two capacitors are in parallel it will be c1 plus c2 the opposite way what we are using in the resistances right if two resistances are in series we will write c is equal to c1 plus c2 but here it is the ulta so the redrawn circuit will be this is a redrawn circuit let me have the redrawn circuit here a b 2 microfarad 1 microfarad and this is c c equivalent or we will make it as x So this is also x. Two microfarad, and this is one microfarad, right? These two are in parallel. For this parallel combination, this is coming in series, right? For parallel combination, for this parallel combination, we will find the equivalent value. For the parallel combination, we have to add it, right? So one plus x, x plus one. For parallel of capacitor, we have to add them, x plus 1. Then this is 2. 2, it is coming in series, divided by x plus 1 plus 2. The total combination will become x or ab, sorry, cab. Yes. Then cross multiplication. Again, I can write it as, this is 2x plus 2 divided by x plus 3 x square plus 3x cross multiplication x square plus 3x is equal to 2x x square plus 3x is equal to 2x plus 2 x square minus 2x so this will be x minus 2 is equal to 0 right so this is 2x plus 2 this is x plus 3 right then minus b minus b plus or minus b square b square is 
1 minus 4 AC once again 4 into 2 8 divided by 2 minus 1 plus or minus 8 plus 1 9 root 9 is equal to 3 3 by 2 right so this will be two answers minus 1 plus 3 by 2 will be 2 by 2 or minus 1 minus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 4 by 2 so this is 1 or minus 2 two answers one is one answer minus two is another answer minus two we should not take one will be the answer one microfarad in fact right one microfarad option a so the concept is infinity minus one is equal to infinity that is that's all so for infinity minus one we assume x infinity also we assume it as x over right so thank you for watching this video guys, good luck.